Amos I, was a pharaoh and founder of the 18th dynasty of Egypt, classified as the first dynasty of the New Kingdom of Egypt, the era in which ancient Egypt achieved the peak of its power. He was a member of the Theban royal house, the son of Pharaoh Second and Ratau, and the brother of the last pharaoh of the 17th dynasty, Kamos. During the reign of his father or grandfather, Thebes rebelled against the Hyksos, the rulers of Lower Egypt. When he was seven years old, his father was killed, and he was about ten when his brother died of unknown causes after reigning only three years. Amos I assumed the throne after the death of his brother, and upon coronation became known as, the Lord of Strength is R.A. During his reign, Amos completed the conquest and expulsion of the Hyksos from the Nile Delta. Restored Theban rule over the whole of Egypt and successfully reasserted Egyptian power in its formerly subject territories of Nubia and Canaan. The archaeological evidence for an Egyptian presence in Canaan outside Gaza seems to start with Thutmose III. He then reorganized the administration of the country, reopened quarries, mines, and trade routes and began massive construction projects of a type that had not been undertaken since the time of the Middle Kingdom. This building program culminated in the construction of the last pyramid built by native Egyptian rulers. Amos' reign laid the foundations for the new kingdom, under which Egyptian power reached its peak. His reign is usually dated to the mid-16th century BC Amos descended from the Theban 17th dynasty. His grandfather and grandmother, Senectenra Amos and Tedishuri, had at least twelve children, including Sekinen Ratau and Ahotep I. The brother and sister, according to the tradition of Egyptian queens, married and had sons Kamos and Amos, as well as several daughters. Amos followed in the tradition of his father and married several of his sisters, making Amos Nefertari his chief wife. They had several children including daughters Meridiman, Sidiman and son Simon, Amosank, Amenhotep, and Ramos. They may also have been the parents of Mutnofret, who would become the wife of later successor Thutmosa. Amosank was Amos' heir apparent, but he preceded his father in death sometime between Amos' 17th and 22nd regnal year. Amos was succeeded instead by his eldest surviving son, Amenhotep, with whom he might have shared a short corregency. The remains of Amos' pyramid in Abydos were discovered in 1899 and identified as his in 1902. Most of its outer casing stones had been robbed for use in other building projects over the years, and the mound of rubble upon which it was built has collapsed. However, two rows of intact casing stones were found by Arthur Mace, who estimated its steep slope as about 60 degrees, based on the evidence of the limestone casing. Adjacent to the main pyramid temple and to its east, Harvey has identified two temples constructed by Amos' queen, Amos Nefertari. Amos' reign can be fairly accurately dated using the heliacal rise of Sirius in his successor's reign, but because of disputes over from where the observation was made. He has been assigned a reign from 1570, 1546 BC, 1560, 1537 BC, 1551, 1527 BC and 1539, 1514 BC by various sources. Main though supposedly gives Amos a reign of 25 years and 4 months. This figure is seemingly supported by a, year 22, inscription from his reign at the stone quarries of Turah. A medical examination of his mummy indicates that he died when he was about 35, supporting a 25-year reign if he came to the throne at the age of 10. The radiocarbon date range for the start of his reign is 1570, 1544 BC, the mean point of which is 1557 BC Amos I's mummy was discovered in 1881 within the Deir Elbari Cache. Located in the hills directly above the mortuary temple of Hatshepsut, he was interred along with the mummies of other 18th and 19th dynasty leaders Amenhotep I, Thutmose, Thutmose II, Thutmose III, Ramesses I, Seti I, Ramesses II, and Ramesses IX. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe us and like us.